So Rebecca, thank you for asking the question. Like you um, radiate, like you just go around and people like come up to you and go, how can I, I would like more color in my life, more joy. And you seem to radiate that. And, and so people just naturally are drawn to you as whether it's in person or maybe your online content, you know, people, people might, might come to you for that. And you're like, well, how do I then, <laughs> how, how do they become clients? essentially right yeah. and clients that are that are that are really interested in the kind of work that i do so um thank you for asking and then just for uh, i'll just move you from the screen for now um you can come back if you want to say anything else but generally my strategy anyway the way i like to do it is for me it's it's always it, it's awkward to make the pitch to feel pressured to make the pitch if i feel like that's really the only way i can get clients it's like someone's in front of me, they say I, you know, they, they like my energy or whatever. And, oh gosh, there's a moment now I got to tell them, okay, uh, here, here's my business card. Here's a, here, you know, we could do a session, a discovery call. <laughs> it's like, I would feel too much stress going around the world like that. So what I, and same thing with content, like online content, like if I feel like every blog post I write has to somehow convert clients or every video I make, like, oh, God, I got to like make a call to action at the end to like sign up for this or that. It feels inauthentic to me. I don't want to do it that way. I want to, it, I think it, it dampens the creative power that we have to in our content and in our being. Like you want, you, when you go to a grocery store, you want to be like, hmm, where's that? Is there a client here? <laughs> it's like, you just want to be yourself and uplift people, you know, and, and same thing again, whether it's in person or online, same idea. It's like when I make a video, I'm not going, hmm, how can I get people to sign up? Like it, it, this very segment, right? I'm not going at the end, I'm going to pitch my this course or that course. And I start getting nervous and I start. But um, so what I prefer to do is invite people to benefit and enjoy more of my content. And then occasionally in the same channel, occasionally I make a thoughtful, abundant invitation. So 80-20 rule is a really simple way of thinking about it. 80% of the time in that channel. And when I say channel, I mean YouTube. If I make YouTube videos or if I have an email newsletter or if I'm on Instagram or whatever, it's like 80% of the time, 80 to 90% of the time, I'm just giving, being, radiating, you know, blessing people with my content, uplifting, encouraging, helping to shift, transform without an agenda, without you saying, oh, you got to sign up for my thing now. Not even my email newsletter. And then 10 to 20% of the time, I will say, hey, everyone, hey, hi, YouTube audience. Hi, Instagram people. You know of me as being, um, you know, a, a radiant. I try to radiate, you know, the joy of color and blah, 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 blah. And I want you to know that I really enjoy working with people individually on this, or I really enjoy running this group program around this. And if you're interested, comment below or message me, and I'd love to give you more info. Um, we, you know, I, I start the new group at this date. It's always nice to have some authentic due date for them to like, oh yeah, I better think about this. Or to say, hey, this month I'm kind of like carving out my time to to offer um, a an ex a sample session for five people. And so message me if you want to be one of those five. I, I love doing this. There's no agenda. Just show up and experience this. And, you know, if, if it's great, maybe we'll work more. But if not, you at least know what it's like. And, and I bless you with it. So, so basically, this 80-20 thing is helpful for me because when I'm doing content radiating, I just radiate and be myself. And when I'm selling, I do it humbly and and, and transparently and say, this is something I love to provide. Anyone interested? If not, no worries kind of situation, right? So like in, translating this from in-person, it's like if someone came up to you in a grocery store and go, I like your color. I like what you're up to. Um, and like, if you want to keep in touch with that person, like if you feel like it's appropriate, you could give them a business card. But the business card is really, if you print business cards or something or give them a link or something like that, like the purpose is not hopefully to become a client, but they might, who knows, but hopefully they'll watch my YouTube videos. Hopefully they'll follow me on Instagram. Like that's really the first step, my, my recommendation. Because I believe in selling to warm audiences rather than selling to cool, cool audiences. Yeah, there's way more cool audiences, but cool audiences need to be warmed up 
So for our selling to be service-based or uh, authentic rather than graspy, I guess you might say, right? So I hope this is helpful, uh, kind of like a, a way of seeing how people are brought into our world. And therefore, when we make a humble offer, the warmer the audience, the more we can just whisper. The warmer the audience, the more we can just humbly and very lightly and without stress, without having to do a, a whole lot of worrying about copywriting, worrying about design. Now, the warmer the audience, the more you can just lightly touch, lightly whisper. And oh, yes, I want that. So hope that helps.